actress Traveler, and today we're exploring the world of very chic mustard at my, with the world's first mustard sommelier, Pierre Hittner. Hi, how are you? Welcome thank, to Flatiron. Thank you for being, so what does a mustard sommelier do? Well, I have an incredibly fun job, so the focus of my job is actually to help people expand their palate in the world of mustard. So it's defining what type of Dijon mustard suits you, and then also how you're going to take your mustard home and use it. Wonderful. So I think for most Americans, you know, we think of mustard as something that we put on a hot dog and it's kind of limited to a few brands, but Mai has a history that goes back to 1747. Yes, so a very short period of time. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the oldest historical brands in France. Uh, we originated as the official mustard and vinegar purveyor for the French royal court and have been in continuous existence ever since. So every mustard essentially starts off with the mustard seed. But what makes Mai so special? Well, many, many reasons. Um, first, first, the 270 years of savoir faire and craftsmanship that actually go into the development of the mustard and the development of the recipes. Um, second, when you think of Dijon mustard, it actually um, refers not to the city in France, but to a process that the mustard goes through. And ours is very particular, in which we really retain the intensity and the flavor of the seeds. Interesting. So as I'm looking around, I see so many flavors. You have sweet and savory, spices, herbs. So tell us about these kind of flavor combinations. Sure. So mustard itself is rather limitless in terms of what you can pair with it and what the taste profile can be. Um, so a mustard can be very sweet, like our seasonal mustard, rosemary honey, which is beans that produce rosemary honey in the Pyrenees and then it's actually put into our gorgeous mustard. So it's a seasonal must-have. And then we have a lot of rich, savory varieties. So quite a few based in mushrooms, quite a few based in different herbs. We have a fabulous saffron, we have a great basil. So with mustards this complex with so many flavors, I'm guessing they're not just for putting on sandwiches and hot dogs. No. Uh, what I always say is there's really nothing you can't do with your mustard. So everything from waking up in the morning and you know making a great scrambled egg dish or an omelet. You can certainly choose something like sun-dried tomato and escalette chili pepper, which is a kind of southwestern feel mustard. So it has um, a nice sweetness from the sun-dried tomato, a mild chili pepper, and works extremely well in egg dishes. Then you can move on towards brunch. Um, you could do a mustard as a spread. You could also choose your mustard and do like a fabulous vinaigrette. So that's, a, that's another option. Moving, moving towards dinner, of course, we think of uh, pasting a mustard on a piece of fish or also using it as a marinade, after dinner cocktails. So if someone walks in off the street and has no idea, what's a great way to introduce them to the My Brand? Would you know we starting with your classic Dijon? Is that it could be in the classic Dijon, which is an orig original recipe from 1747, and that's a great starting point because it's widely known and it's also very familiar. It's a mustard that's based in vinegar, whereas the boutique exclusive items are all based in white wines, so they're really dimensional, they're really flavorful. So when you do a comparison taste between Dijon original and something like the Dijon original white wine on tap, you really start to make the connection between the base of the wine and how it alters the mustard. And we'll get to the wine on tap later, but I do also <laughs> want to mention that you, you, you have vinegars and oils and cornichons. Yes, yes. I, I, everything that you could imagine for eating and cooking. Um, you know, so the experience doesn't end with mustard. The idea is that you're able to come into one of our seven boutiques in the world and you can really create a full meal or outfit your kitchen. So you can do a fabulous vinaigrette and we have all the components. You can use a vinegar as a base for a cocktail, which is a, a great way to use it and uh, very modern. And you can also do the cornichons um, in salads and sandwiches or as a snack. And about how many different flavors of mustard do you have? Well, now we have over 40 in the U.S., so we generally have about five on tap, some of which are seasonal, and then about 25 to 30 different jarred varieties of mustards and very playful flavors, Parmesan cheese and basil, pesto and arugula, apricot and curry. Was there ever one combination that even made you go, hmm, is that going to work? <laughs> 
that really surprised uh, you? That there, there are a few. So there are a few when I started with the brand that I, I thought, I can't imagine that being in a mustard. And one is saffron and creme de signe. When you think of saffron, you don't think of it necessarily in a mustard, and you don't think of it in a creamy base, but it's one of the few mustards that really, you know, it really changes when you cook with it. It blooms, it opens up, and it becomes super dimensional, and it, it takes whatever meal you're cooking in a totally different direction. When, so uh, when you, in your mind, did you ever envision that this would be your career? <laughs> what, what led you to being a mustard song? So it's, uh, it's actually, it's a, it's a longer story, which I'll shorten, uh, but you know, I spent years working uh, in beauty and retail with a passionate home for cooking and for food, and I knew mine, I loved it, but you know, one of the things that connected me very much to the uh, you know, idea of discovering new flavors and being able to communicate that to people was I collect perfume. So I spent years collecting perfume and learning about the top notes, the middle notes, the base notes, and being able to identify you know, different elements. And that's really what I bring to the world of, of taste. They're kind of sisters, so, you know, fragrance and flavor. Absolutely wonderful. Well, we're going to move over to the punk now. Fabulous. And you can show us some of that fabulous mustard. <laughs> so I see these very beautiful, impressive pumps. What's going on over there? Uh, so this is actually the, the heart and soul of every My Boutique. These are our mustards on tap, and these beautiful pumps will draft out a mustard for you the same way when you go to a pub and you have a beer drafted out. Um, but this time you're stepping up to the bar and you're getting a fabulous mustard to take home. Wonderful. So I see four different pumps, so do you want to walk yes. us quickly through each of the I varieties? would love to. So I'm actually going to start with Dijon Original White Wine. So this is a classic Dijon mustard, a uh, very long heat progression. So I always tell people it peaks, it pauses, and then it kind of comes back in for a second peak. So if you're looking for a very versatile, spicy mustard, white wine. Second to that, we have a lovely seasonal item. So this is our fabulous rosemary honey mustard. It is uh, bees that produce rosemary honey in the Pyrenees. Um, and it is a seasonal limited edition for my for spring summer. So it's a really fabulous combination of sweet and very refreshing from the rosemary. Then one of my all time favorites, a fabulous Chablis mustard, so based in Chablis wine. Um, incredibly versatile, very smooth texture, nuanced with a touch of citrus. And for someone who doesn't have a spicy palate, it's an excellent choice. And then last on the tap, we have a wonderful wine based, a wonderful uh, Sauterne wine mustard. So uh, from the dessert wine in Bordeaux, uh, also sweet, but not as uh, sweet as the rosemary honey. You really taste the wine in it. And it has a touch of honey and a few dried golden raisins in it for texture. Wonderful. So I see those really adorable earthenware crocs. So is that what the mustard is pumped into? Yes. So, so these are a very special piece of our heritage because we've always had, you know, some type of uh, pottery that we've used. So this is made in France. It is hand painted in France and all of these jars are refillable. So when you come in and you have your mustard drafted into one, it is your jar. You keep it, you create wonderful food memories and delicious meals with it, and then you can bring it back to any my boutique and refill it. Well, I even heard of people before you opened in New York taking those back to Paris <laughs> <laughs> to getting mustard. And now oh, yes, you can yes. Do it's a, it's a New York. big part of our, of our culture. Um, and what makes my, I think, so accessible to people is that it's such an experience when you have a jar and it's very memorable and people treasure them. So, you know, if you come to New York for the first time and you get a jar, you're always going to remember the experience of the meals you made when you went home and you're going to wait for your next opportunity to come to refill. So Paris, New York, London, we're available. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like mine makes it very easy for someone who doesn't even consider themselves maybe a great cook to add a really special touch to their meals from breakfast to lunch, dinner. Yes, and, and that's a great point because you don't have to be an expert chef to use the mustard. You know, you can use just a small amount in any recipe, really amplifies the other flavors. You can, you know, use it as simply as, you know, on a sandwich, you know, paired with a piece of beef. Uh, for cheese and charcuterie, so it's a quite a versatile product, and the idea is that it's enhancing what you're already doing. You don't have to change your recipes to use it. 
And I know educating your customers is something that Maya is very passionate about, and you often have in-store workshops and lessons. Oh, we do. We actually have rolled out a series of classes in New York City, which is called Create Your Own Mustard. So we use uh, one of our great mustards on tap as a base. That's a wonderful host for the different flavors. And then you're taken through a great um, flavor principle, which helps you to build the right profile for your palate and for your cooking needs. And you choose from everything from porcini mushrooms to maple syrup to cayenne pepper. Well, it sounds like <laughs> a great activity for the whole family as well. Oh, it is, it is, it is. It's very, very family friendly, especially if you have a picky eater and you wanna make sure that they're going to be able to eat everything. If they create their own mustard, they have no excuse. Well, count on a friend to take mustard to a whole new level to make it chic, elegant, fun. So thank you so much for your time today. Oh, thank you so much. And come to Maya, everybody. <laughs>